Stencil really has it all. Comprehensive screenwriting tools, editing checklists, character development tools, plot visualization tools, subplot visualization tools, built-in character generation tools, shot list tools, storyboarding tools, world building tools, casting tools, location scouting tools, and much, much more. This makes Stencil simply the best filmmaking software out there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use Stencil step by step. Now, after logging in, you'll need to create a new project by clicking on this button here. Notice that you can use Stencil to manage your films, documentaries, music videos, commercials, short films, and so on. After adding a new project, it will show up here on your main projects page. Simply click on your project to be brought to your team dashboard page. Now on this page, the team members associated with this project will be able to communicate and share news and updates. Essentially, on this page, everyone can be kept up to speed on where a project is at. Now, the producer of the project will be able to mark milestones as complete up here, which ensures that all cast and crew know what stage a project is at at any given time. Now, production documents can be added to the left and team members can be added over to the right. Next, let's click over on our script page. Now, this is where story planning really takes shape. You can add a new scene to a project by clicking on this button here, and then outline your scene's details by adding a scene title, picking an act, and associating the scene with a plot point here. You can also add a scene summary down at the bottom. Once a scene is added, simply click on the scene title here, and then you can begin writing. Now, Stencil was built for all types of filmmakers, so our writing tool can be used to format a screenplay if you wish. We have an entire tutorial dedicated to using Stencil as a screenwriting tool, but you're not forced to use it as a screenwriting tool, and you could just as easily use it to write a music video treatment or a YouTube video script. Now, one thing that was really important for us when we were creating Stencil was to keep the story and the associated images to that story very close together. Now, traditionally, filmmakers write their script in one platform and then storyboard in another. We wanted to bring the story and the story's visuals closer together. And therefore, just above the script area here, you'll see this button, which allows you to add shot list items. So let's click on this add button now. From here, we can add the first shots associated with this scene. Notice to the left, we can add important camera details such as shot number, frames per second, shutter speed, ISO, and so on. Then over to the right, we can add four types of images, reference images, storyboard images, location photos, and production stills. Now imagine we're just in pre-production, so we don't have location shots or production stills yet. So let's use this storyboard option here. Now here, you can either upload hand-drawn storyboard images or use the built-in AI tools within Stencil to generate your storyboard images for you. For example, imagine that we were working on a sci-fi film and we needed some shots of a winter landscape. I could type in something like this, select the style I want my image to be created in, and then I could generate the image. Now, once the image is generated, I could add the shot down here. Now notice that if we were to select storyboard from the drop down list here, it would show only our list of storyboard images. You can simply repeat this process of going through your script and then adding the associated and relevant storyboard images until you have your entire scene visualized. You can also view your storyboard images by clicking on this list button here. You can also drag and drop your storyboard images around if you wanted to change their order. Not only can you use Stencil for pre-production work, but you can also use it during production. Here, for example, I can mark this shot as my active shot while I'm shooting, or here I could mark this shot as complete once it's in the can. Similarly, I can filter the shot list based on if shots are complete or incomplete. This helps directors and producers stay organized during production days. Now, when it comes to storytelling, over to the right, here you'll see you have tabs where you can map out important narrative elements such as your scene goal, obstacles, tension, and so on. There is also a scene checklist tab here which allows you to check off important story details once they've been completed. Notice here that we have D1 to D6. D stands for draft. So in your first draft, you'll be more focused on top level story structure details like plot or a character. And then in later drafts, you'll be more focused on small details like spelling and grammar. Now, if you're ever uncertain as to what a checklist item is, you can simply click on it to learn more. Over to the left, you can filter your scenes by act or collapse your scene cards into smaller cards by using this drop down here. You can also collapse this left sidebar entirely by clicking on this icon here. Now above and below each scene card, you'll notice that you have an intro and outro section here. 
What this allows you to do is to add your scene headings, which allow you to better visualize how your scenes flow in and out of each other. You'll also have these scorecards here, which allow you to rate yourself in terms of how well each scene is doing with character development, plot development, climax, and climax position. So simply click on each rating to bring up a, a pop-up, which explains how to rate the scene for that particular topic, and then you can rate the scene below. Now there is a lot, lot more built into Stencil. Here you'll see that we can add characters to the scene. Notice after clicking on my characters tab, I can see all of my characters here. Notice on this page also, I can build worlds within Stencil using Stencil's built-in world building tools, or I could click on plot visualization to see how my entire plot is playing out here, or I could click on tension flow to view my project's tension flow across scenes. Now, these are just a handful of the tools that we have built into our film production management software. If you're a filmmaker and you're looking to dramatically improve the quality of your work, as well as improve your workflow and allow for more efficient communication amongst your team, then I'll provide a link to Stencil below so you can take the software for a test drive. Thanks for stopping by today.